something unique about Moston Fairway. You hear the bird song, straight away you realise there's something special about this place. It used to be the site of Moston Exchange Railway sidings, and in the last century it's turned into real urban wilderness. nestled between railway on one side and houses just on the other and at the moment so many people in the community don't actually realise what a jewel they've got just on their doorstep. It's the range of habitat types that you can find on here. We've got the marsh habitat which has developed now into a huge range of different species. We've got common cotton grass which you can find if you go up onto the moorlands, uh, you can find it up there, but we've got it down here in the middle of Manchester. We've got the woodlands that we're in now which is full of birdsong. We've got kind of acid grasslands and, and you can find it here, you know, within a stone's throw of the city centre. We're working through 2015 on a special forest schools project funded by players of People's Postcode Lottery. We're working with four local schools to bring a whole new generation of kids into the reserve and share that with the families. A lot of the kids before they come to forest schools, they've never climbed a tree before, never played in mud, so it's just a great opportunity for them to just experience nature firsthand really. Nine animals that you might find in the wild. We've already you see a lot more of the personality of the children here. They're happier when they're out in the in the wild and in the, wild, <laughs> and they're in the forest and they feel it's wild and you just see a bit more of their themselves coming through. The learning that they do is just amazing even compared to what they do in, in school. <laughs> But I mean, they're very lucky here that they've got Moston Fairway. It's it's kind of a place that you don't have many people walking through, and many maybe people don't know about it. Um, but there's it's obviously a beautiful woodland that we've got down here, and lots of species as well uh, for them to explore. I don't think when you're actually in it, you feel how small it is. I think just having it here brings that wildlife to to the city. I think without it. There's a lot of children who will grow up not seeing bugs and not seeing birds. Just gives them that little bit of a little bit of nature that they can touch. And I think it's really important that they've got that. Absolutely brilliant. For so long we've been looking at the site thinking we really need to get the community involved in this. And now it's happening. So what we would really like from this project is to enable more people to share in this unique urban wilderness to come and explore, come and discover.